collection has shrunk more. I did get another new one. It's been in a vid one of my previous vids, but I just keep downsizing. I'm trying to get down to basics. What fits me the best? What I like the most? I also look at it. I know everybody's like, never sell a gun. Yeah, but the only good thing about not having a ton of guns, it's less the government can steal from you because you know how they are. So we'll start off with one of my older ones, H&K VP9. I put the TLR7A flashlight on there, 500 lumens. I also put the uh, Trijicon night sights on there. They work pretty awesome. Now for the next gun is the old FN57, still kicking. I know a lot of people don't like that gun. I, I do, it's a fun shooter, it's a flat shooter. The grip shape sucks. That's one thing I don't like about it. It's, you know, very oblong because it's got to fit that round, right? So, and I heard a lot of people say, oh, the Ruger grip's better. Well, that's cool, but I'm, I'm not buying that. So, next pistol is the SIG P365. Now, that's the old pocket carry gun. Uh, I replaced the, what the heck what the, was that called? 938. The 365. It's just it's just so much better of a gun. It really is. I mean the ergonomics. A lot of times with the 938, I had a problem with riding the slide too much. Not that it really made malfunctions, but I don't know. I just didn't like it. It didn't fit in my hand good enough. Where this thing at least just fits. Next is the big brother, the P365 XL. Man, this thing, every time I hold it, it feels like I'm cheating. I don't know, there's just something with how slim and small and still being a double stacked. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> the flat trigger, at first I was like, ah, oh, flat trigger, that's wacky, that's weird. But the more I use these flat triggers, the more I like them. I don't know, it just, it helps it so I don't veer left or right. You know what I'm saying? It makes me go straighter back, which helps in my accuracy. Next pistol, this is the one I'm actually carrying now is the H&K VP9SK, little compact. Man, I love this thing. Now, recent, not long ago I sold my HK P30SK. It seemed to be just a little bit chunkier. It's funny, the guns almost looked identical, but it, they really weren't if you measured all the different dimensions. This one just fits my hand that little bit better. And for my last pistol, I know, six, are you kidding, Tack? I've never had this few pistols since the beginning when I first started collecting guns or shooting pistols, whatever. The SIG P320 RXP X Compact TLR 7A with the Romeo, what is that? The Romeo 1 Pro Red Dot. Man, I love this thing. Ugh. But yeah, what a tiny collection, huh? That's pretty pathetic. Well, in the end, how many can you carry? Uh, the caliber thing was really getting to me. It's hard to support 17 different calibers. Finding the ammo, the ammo prices. Now in New York, you can't order ammo anymore from any place. So you have to go to a shop just to get freaking ammo. And then they write it down. Oh, Tack was here today and he bought 300 rounds of this for that. I'm sick of this bullshit. Excuse my French. But I got enough ammo where I don't really need to buy any. You know, not at least for a couple decades. I'm good. But it's still just the hassle of the crap. So this should be good enough. I know it's all 9 mils in a 5.7. I'm not out hunting bear. Nothing like that, you know. It's just for self-defense purposes or battle purposes. And looking at the collection now, you know, besides the one FN, SIG HK. That's, I've been going back and forth with this forever. Uh, when I first started, got my pistol permit back in the day. You know, revolvers have always been my favorite when I was a young person. And then I got into semi-autos and 
they're not as pretty as a revolver, but I don't know, they just function a little bit better and, you know, whatever, that's a debate for another time. But back when I first started with the semis, SIGs were my favorite with that SIG Pro SP234L 357 SIG. Then I got my first H&K, the USP Tactical. As you see, it's gone. Technically, it's illegal in New York because it's got a threaded barrel, blah, blah, blah. I had to go to frickin' Vermont to sell it. Ridiculous. Anyways, then I went back to SIG with the 226, and SIG was my favorite again. Then H&K was my favorite when they came out with the VP9. And now with these new SIGs, especially this 320 and this XL, SIG is my favorite again. It's funny how I flip-flop. I'm back and forth with SIG and H&K. They're both my favorite brands, but it's like, this one's my favorite, that one's my favorite. As for right now, I'd have to say out of my tiny collection, this is my favorite gun. Yeah, it's got a high bore axis on it, but I mean, everything else besides that, I freaking love this little thing. And it's actually my most accurate pistol, funny enough. It's more accurate than my HK USP Tactical, my TRR-8. With the USP Tactical, I was getting an inch group at 15 yards. I know that's not stellar, and you got to remember you're talking to me, so I'm not the most accurate. But I was getting half inch groups at 15 yards with this, which for me is freaking awesome. So what's next for 2024, Tack? You gonna have two guns? No. I, I could almost see myself maybe getting rid of one or two more, not that I want to. As long as I have a small, medium, in a kind of large, I'm good. Because I need a pocket carrier for certain instances. Uh, mid-size, and then a, not that this is large, this is not large, this is still a compact. But a battle pistol, you know, something for battle. I could use this for battle. As long as I have three pistols, I'm pretty much good. You know, I don't need a zillion guns. You can't carry them all. Yeah, sure, you could hand it to a buddy or something, but you got more than one you can do that I don't know it's just where I am right now the older I get the more I'm downsizing with everything ATVs guns knives I'm just trying to get to the basics and just trying to get to what's most important for me well I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick I hope everybody's doing good out there and until the next time we meet